Hello, I'm David D. Hilster. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those that science evangelists won't tell you. On my big kick on assumptions, something extremely important to science, something we learned from the late and great Neil Munch, and something that we scientists do, including my father and I, in our new book and our new completely physical theory of the entire universe, we have all of our assumptions in there. What are assumptions again? Assumptions are those things that you assume that you cannot prove. Like there's mass, that there's space. We just assume these things are there and those are some of the assumptions. So what is the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest wrong assumption in theoretical physics in mainstream science today? And it's actually quite simple, but it may take you a long time to understand it because sort of like right and left, it's easy to get mixed up. It's often the most basic things that can take the hardest uh, and longest time to understand. And that assumption is that in science that we discover what I call the equations of God or the equations of the universe. And these equations, once we find them, our laws are forever written in stone. Who tells you eloquently about this idea? <laughs> I don't, I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm not sure that's a compliment. Is our famous Neil deGrasse Tyson, who talks about in his little uh, rant about how Einstein couldn't be wrong and the first answer he comes out of his face is laughing is that he says well we know that Newton's laws are good for this and then they fail here and then Einstein comes and fills in those law those now we have new laws and they're gonna fail in the middle of black holes and string theory is gonna fill those and so when we come up with an equation like distance is equal to uh, uh, velocity is equal to distance over time that is forever the equation force is equal to mass times acceleration that forever is an equation that every uh, intelligent being in the universe will come up with these same equations it equals mc squared that's going to be known by all beings throughout the universe who are intelligent the idea is is that once we discover these things they can't be wrong we can't have an alternative idea and that, my friends, is extremely dangerous. Because in the, the truth is, is that no matter what we think in science is going to be basic and it's going to be is what we call a law or an idea, it may be in fact be overturned someday. And who overturns them? People outside the mainstream, people outside all those people who, who consecrate all these things that are considered to be the laws of the universe. In fact, my father hates the word law. We, we who have a more engineering idea of this universe is that we'll come up with systems of, of, of uh, I could say mathematics. Mathematics is a system that we've developed with the real numbers that we use in the real numbers. That's why we get things like square root of negative one, which is a problem. See, see uh, Peter, um, Erickson on that one, read about his stuff. We have mathematics, the real number system. There are quaternions. There's a, there are different mathematical systems. There's binary. There's the decimal system. There's all kinds of systems out there. Well, we use math, and so we get things like F equals MA, and we plug in our numbers and everything like that. It's a system. Is it a system that everybody in the universe is going to, going to use? We really we think that. Well, maybe it isn't true. But the biggest assumption in science, the idea that we can look at something. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to find the laws that govern this. And, you know, here it goes. Oh, falls down. So there's a law there, and that's a law written in stone. This is the way it works. Once we discover it, all, all intelligence, we're, you know, oh, yeah, we can go and compare our textbooks. Uh, yeah, what'd you get? Uh, I got this one. Um, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, 
Okay. Um, this is, uh, yeah, we got that one too. Oh, oh, you got this one. We didn't get that one. Oh, uh, uh, transparent uh, aluminum for those people who are Star Trek people. No. This idea that there are equations, there are laws in which we discover and we keep adding to those and those are written in stone forever. That is assumption that keeps science stuck. That is something that we have to understand as critical thinkers. This has this is a crazy assumption. The assumption that this computer like computer uh, language is the way to do it. Binaries, zeros and ones. That's the way all computers are going to be made. All intelligent beings. Oh, what about the quantum uh, quantum computing where they don't use zeros and ones? Not that quantum mechanics is correct because it's a bunch of baloney, but that's a different story. But people are looking at different ways to do computers. Is that a law? Zeros and binaries? Everybody was introduced? Of course not. There's a lot of engineers. You have to remember what I'm talking about, why this channel is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. Because I'm speaking for the silent majority who thinks all this other stuff is mumbo-jumbo like physics. Like modern physics is mumbo-jumbo. People who are in theoretical physics, you can see sort of factions. Oh, those string people are nuts. Oh, those neutrino guys, wild. The whole system suffers from the same thing. Neil deGrasse Tyson talks about it. We've discovered these are laws now. They're forever written in stone. So that's not true because we have people working outside that who can throw that away. Our model throws away all of electrodynamics. We don't need it. We can do it all in a physical Newtonian world. The, everything we can describe it. Not only can describe it, we can predict things that can't be predicted. We can explain things that can't be explained. Oh, you can't do that. We Yes, we can. We threw it out. So, even though I'm telling you, oh, these assumptions, this is the worst assumption, that is, we find laws in the universe, we find the God equations, or the creator equations, or the universe's equations, doesn't matter what your philosophy is, same idea, then we have it. And therefore, this is... This is why these people will be ever be forever uh, true. Sorry, Einstein's supposed to be in that line, Mr. Mr. Tyson. But guess what? He's wrong. <laughs> Thousands of us know that. So, the number one thing to remember is the biggest problem in in modern physics, theoretical physics, and cosmology, mainstream science. This is assumption that there are laws that once we find them, they are written in stone. Chisel, 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 chisel. Nope. And once we get that through our thick skulls, which most of scientists, I think, believe that. 99.999% of them are not theoretical physicists. Then the better off we are and the more science can advance. And as I always tell you, don't listen to anybody's Take anybody's word on faith. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm David D. Hilster. I'm your science therapist. Another session on assumptions. Hoping you're starting to get this idea. Ciao for now.